Hey everybody, welcome back to All Fiction is Fantasy. Daniel here. I hope you're doing well, and if you're not, I hope you are soon. Okay, today on All Fiction is Fantasy, we will be doing a quick review for Tom Remy's Blind Voices. Tom Remy died in 1977 at the age of 42, quite young. Blind Voices is his only novel, and this was published after he died. While he was living, he had a handful of short stories published. But it seems like maybe we're at the dawn of an age of rediscovery of Tom Remy. Subterranean Press will soon be publishing a short story collection. And this novel, Blind Voices, will soon be in print again, thanks to Valancourt. A buddy of mine and I decided to read Blind Voices together. And while I didn't love the book, I'm glad I spent time with it. I would put it in the same school as things like uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes, which for some reason I don't own. I don't know why I need to find a cool copy of that. But I would put that in the same school, the same vein as things like Dandelion Wine and Something Wicked by Ray Bradbury. Along the lines of The Dreaming Jewels, a.k.a. The Synthetic Man by Theodore Sturgeon. And also in the same camp as something like Circus of Dr. Lau by Charles G. Finney. Now, Circus of Dr. Lau is in my top 10 books of all time. And Dandelion Wine and The Dreaming Jewels are up there. Unfortunately, Blind Voices, while in the same school as these, the same group, I didn't like this book nearly as much as the others. But let's talk a little bit about what Blind Voices is. Dreams Turn to Terror it's summer, the circus is coming to town, and in the shadows of the gaily painted wagons lurks an ancient and evil creature whose inhuman lusts will shatter forever the peace of a small Kansas community. So Blind Voices is the story of a traveling freak show that comes to a small town in Kansas. The show has a dark secret, of course, like all of these kinds of traveling shows do, and it leaves a bleak mark upon the town and its inhabitants. It is at times wistful and nostalgic, while also being pretty twisted and violent. However, it is immensely readable. That is to say, it's an effortless read that provides some quality moments, but I wasn't left feeling entirely satisfied. It didn't leave me with a ton of lasting impressions like these other books in this kind of subgenre do. It does do one remarkable thing, though, and it gives the reader a fresh perspective for this kind of supernatural coming-of-age tale. All too often in these kinds of stories, we tend to have a male point of view. We are shown the coming uh, of age and the budding sexuality of a male protagonist. Blind Voices instead focuses on a group of young women as its main protagonists, and it's refreshing to see this kind of story from the perspective of these characters. It's also refreshing to see a science fiction novel deal with female sexuality in this way. In that sense, it feels a little more progressive than something you might see from Bradbury, but you would expect that kind of progressive attitude from something like Theodore Sturgeon. However, and unfortunately, because it deals with a female perspective, we are also subjected to a rather brutal rape scene that goes just a tad bit too far in its description. The ramifications of the rape are also never fully explored in a satisfactory way, as the other characters seem to just go on with their lives almost as if nothing happened. It was very odd and really did pull me out of the rest of the novel once that happened. The story goes to quite a few places I wasn't expecting at all, and in that sense, I applaud Remy's efforts. However, I wish he would have explored those places he did go in a bit more detail, especially in the character department. There are some interesting characters that, if more fully fleshed out, could have left me feeling far more satisfied. I don't want to get too into the details of all of the weird and twisted things and secrets that are revealed because I think those things are better left to experience by the reader on their own. There are some wonderfully suspenseful moments, some great action with pyrokinetic psychic powers, 
and an, actually a really well-written sexual encounter that elevates both of the characters involved. Luckily, this old mass market can be found for next to nothing. This is not a collector's item at all. And if you like these kinds of stories, if you like dandelion wine, if you like something wicked this way comes, if you like the dreaming jewels and synthetic man, or you like the circus of Dr. Lau, if you like these kinds of slightly supernatural sci-fi coming of age tales, I think Blind Voices is a good addition to this kind of small uh, subsection of this library. Just don't expect the same kind of narrative impact that other similar books have. This may feel kind of more like a lesser effort. According to the Wikipedia article, there are some critics out there who think that uh, this maybe should have gone through or that Remy was expecting this to go through another editing process, another uh, another round of edits before it was finally released. And I can kind of see that there are ways that a lot of the book could really be tightened up and fleshed out. And some of it uh, could have been removed, especially some of the, the detail in that rape scene, I think could have been left more to the imagination. And not only would it have been more impactful, but it also would have been more tasteful. But overall, Blind Voices is incredibly readable. You could do much worse and you'll be able to finish this book in no time just because of how snappy it is. And it comes with a light recommendation. If you don't want to search out the old mass market, uh, just uh, go to Balancourt's website and or go to Amazon and sign up for any kind of notifications for when that comes back into print. And you also might want to pay attention to the uh, short story collection coming out soon from Subterranean Press. So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this very brief review of Tom Remy's Blind Voices, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.